there is a new design trend out there that is gaining traction in web design and that is the bento grid and in this video i want to show you what this is all about some examples of it what's good about this and what you want to be careful with when using this and also how you can use this in your own web design it's actually very very quickly so let's dive right into it it all started out when i started seeing a lot of friends that i know use this bento me website to create kind of like personal websites with this kind of like grid of boxes with a bunch of stuff from their lives um, and it can be customized and I think it's actually free to create your website like this so that was kind of like a pretty cool and then what is this bento if you've never heard about this concept if you're not into Japanese culture then bento box is actually a lunchbox in Japan it's kind of like a lunchbox that has a modular kind of like cells in different uh, sizes that allows you to have kind of like different foods for your lunchbox and this idea of a grid with boxes in different shapes that's that was kind of like translated into web design and then i started seeing it all over now if you've been in web design in 2023 then you know that the diagram website has been raved about as an amazing amazing web design and you can see here in the feature section that they're using this concept of having a grid with different box sizes to kind of like showcase the features and this is what we now call bento grid and it's been because this website i don't know if this website is the one that started it all but a lot of people have started to use this concept so whether people creating their personal websites or custom portfolios using this concept of grids and boxes in different uh, sizes and it can be you can be very very creative about how you're doing this and what kind of grid you're using and what you're showing in the grid but this has become very very popular even procreate uh, are using this in their website to kind of like show the features um a lot of the agencies are using it to show a lot of different works and stuff that they're doing i've been seeing it a lot in e-commerce website as well so here's one example from the opal camera that is also using this um to showcase kind of like images or their product i've seen apple using this a lot but as i'm recording this apple is just change their website and so this is i can't show you the apple but it's been trending all over the internet now there's there's an issue with trends where everybody's using it so it's pretty cool so a lot of people are starting to use this now i i do think that the bento grid is a very interesting way to showcase a lot of things at the same time but there's one thing that you want to be careful with when doing this because one thing that is becoming a, a challenge when you're using this is maintaining hierarchies because what you have is you have a lot of things all over the place that are all trying to grab your attention and you can see it here a lot of things and they're all grabbing my attention and so it sometimes can be overwhelming or confusing if you're not really sure how to master hierarchies and again for people who are not sure what hierarchies mean hierarchy means just like what is the most important thing or the most secondary thing and the third thing so there's kind of like the the reading uh, pattern that you're going through when you're looking at a website usually you read this first and that first and when you have a grid that grabs your attention all around it can be a little bit overwhelming so this is a really great tool to use if you know how to still direct the eye of the viewer and not just overwhelm him with a lot of different images so you want to be careful when you're using this uh, this kind of like, like a layout now let me show you how to do this very very easily so I have Webflow open up here uh, was just kind of like a container inside now Webflow has a grid element right they've now put it in the other but this is actually a perfect solution to take a grid and then you can do something like create four columns here and maybe let's do four rows as well now what we want to do is we want to bring in a single div inside of one of these cells and I'm going to give this a class of card which I've already created basically just giving it kind of like a little bit of a background and round corners now it's very very simple you see this little circle that you have here you can basically drag this and see how many spans or actually decide how many cells you want this div to span so you can have this one spanning maybe two columns um, and then maybe this one here you actually want this to be one column but three three kind of like rows uh, and then this one maybe you want this one to be like two columns and two rows and you can very quickly see how I'm now creating this kind of like a bento box grid that I can create and then I can maybe here I can just make one that is a single cell um, and 
move it around here. But you can see how very easy it is to start having this kind of a layout. And now I can start putting inside some text or, or content or background images inside. And already I have a very interesting layout. Of course, I can move it around because it's modular. So I can create unique layout and some very, very cool things here. So this is the Bento grid. If you've never heard about this or if you've heard about this but weren't sure how to create this, this is it. Always be sure that you're not just using trends for the trend sake, but because it might be a way for you to solve a particular problem. In this case, the problem is how can I show multiple things, multiple features, multiple angles of a product, multiple ideas, multiple works in a single space, in a single kind of like frame in my website. And it might be a very, very useful tool. If you want to learn more about web design, make sure to check the links below this video and our courses. I'll see you in our next video. Peace out.